Hi, I'm Amy from cybernews.com, a source of cybersecurity advice so you can make more secure online choices. A lot of you might be hearing the word VPN being thrown around a lot lately, and you might have some questions like, what is this all about and do I need a VPN? Well, my friends, there's no need to ask twice. We've got you covered with a nice and simple explanation. So without further ado, let's answer some questions. Virtual Private Network is what it stands for, if you were wondering. Initially created for online security, but has grown into so much more. And what a VPN does is it helps your data travel through the internet safely without big companies or cyber criminals being able to spy on you. In short, it sends all your traffic through a remote server and uses encryption to create a secure private connection. Think of it as your own little pathway, which effectively shields you from online activities from your internet service provider or government. Also, since your data goes through a remote server, it lets you hide your identity and location from the online services you're using. It's pretty impressive stuff. Most of us are used to seeing the internet as something like this. Your home computer connecting straight to the internet through your internet service provider. Seems pretty simple, but this OG system has flaws and without a VPN, your internet provider will be able to track much of what you're doing. So when we add a VPN, this little guy can connect your device to a server that is located anywhere else in the world, all before connecting to the wider internet. Basically, that direct line you once saw going from your device straight to the internet is now being redirected through an encrypted tunnel. What this means is your ISP doesn't know what website you're visiting. The website doesn't know who you are or where you're from because it appears as if your IP address is your VPN server's IP address and cyber criminals can't use your intercepted data because it's encrypted. So let's look at why you'd want a VPN to begin with. From online anonymity to catching up on your popular TV shows, a VPN has many benefits. With Netflix, for instance, the number of TV shows varies hugely depending on your location. Using a VPN alongside Netflix means you can access different countries' Netflix libraries and watch shows that are blocked in your country. Also like Netflix, you'll be able to access websites that might otherwise be blocked in your country due to copyright and licensing issues or censorship. Countries with strict internet censorship can use a VPN to get around firewalls and access all types of information online that would have been being blocked before. Downloading a new movie or classic TV show? Torrenting can be a great way to download large files and using this alongside a VPN is pretty vital, especially to hide your IP address. Not to mention, using a VPN can get you a faster connection for P2P downloads, albeit only if your ISP happens to be throttling your connection. A VPN is even handy for your general anonymous browsing, especially if you're working from home accessing sensitive files. As you can see, the possibilities of VPN can offer are pretty wide, and I think you'll find at least one or two features personally beneficial. Feel free to browse our website for tips, news, and opinions in cybersecurity. The link is just down in the description. And remember, no VPN is 100% secure all the time. So it's important to make sure you've not been misled with the security level of your VPN. Be sure to do your research and use a reputable provider. And don't forget, without a VPN, some of your traffic will be unencrypted and tracking IP addresses will let your internet service provider know everything you do online, leaving your location open to anyone that's interested. So you've probably noticed by now the many benefits that come with a VPN alongside anonymity. For more on cybersecurity, head to our website. The link is just down in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.